they can't beat you, they will try to recruit you. I repeat, if they can't beat you, they will try to recruit you or join your side. Because they've had so many unsuccessful and failed attempts to sabotage you and take you out of here and to try to get you off your path and to try to stop you from being the person that you are meant to be. And they all failed. So their last resort is to try to recruit you to join their side or to join you. Do not ever join the enemy's side and do not ever let the enemy join you because they, after so many failed attempts to try to take you down, their last resort is to try to gain your trust so they can finish the job. It's all a trap from the enemy because he's so crafty. They'll use any skill or technique or any plot holes to let your guard down and to get you to trust them. And then once you let your guard down and trust him, he comes in for the kill. The enemy still kills and destroy. And that's what your so-called haters and frenemies are doing. So they're trying everything in their power to get you to be just like them, to recruit you to be on their side, to get you off the mission. If they can successfully take you off the path by recruiting you to be on their side, that means that the enemy has won. That you are not, you did not complete the mission that you were destined to do. And you did not become the person that you were supposed to be. So the enemy will try all sorts of methods to the, take you off your path, to distract you, and to keep you from being the person that you are supposed to be. And to keep you from succeeding. But all in actuality, it's all a trap. You see, they go out of their way to try to befriend you just so you can let down your guard and trust them. And then so after you do that, they come in for the kill. That's when they start to attack. That's when they start to take action on their evil plan to take you down. So do not join the enemy. Do not let them join you because they are trying to finish the job and sabotage you. This entails with dealing with an ex, an ex that betrayed you. This person, this past person that you used to date and be in a relationship with, they betrayed you in the most tenderest ways. They lied on you. They cheated on you. They disrespected you, called you out your name or whoever or however else they abused you. They are trying to do what they can to get back into your life and they're trying to gain your trust. They're trying to say that, oh, that I have changed. I am not that person anymore. You can trust me. I've got help and therapy on my so-called behavior, but it's a lie. It's BS because what they're really trying to do is they're trying to get you to let down their guard so they can finish the job and continue to use and abuse you. That's This is the method that toxic people do to have control over their victims. So do not fall for it. Do not trust them. Everything that they say is a lie. It's all to try to get you to let down your guard so they can continue to use and abuse you or to finish the job and take you down completely. This could be what ex-lovers, ex-friends, toxic family members. They will always try to recruit you to join their side or they will always try to join you. When they try to recruit you to join their side, they want you to be evil and toxic and low vibrational just like them. They want you to forget the mission that you had with God and join the side of the enemy and together be toxic by doing crazy, hor horrific things instead of doing the things that you were supposed to do, the mission that you were supposed to accomplish and to take you off your path and to keep you from being yourself. They don't want you to be yourself. They are intimidated by you. They are jealous of your potential. And the enemy will try many methods to try to take you off your path and distract you. And if he can successfully do that, that means he won. And he succeeded at taking you 
off your path and to stop you from becoming the person that you want to be because your enemies do not want you to be free. They do not want you to live a happy, prosperous life. They don't want you to live your best life. They don't want you to become the person that you're supposed to be. Their all around goal is to sabotage you and take you out of here. And you can't let this happen because you have a mission to complete. You have many things to do. You cannot afford to be taken off your path or distracted by low vibrational entities that don't want to see you grow. You don't have time to be around people who don't have your best interests. So if you have anybody around you that is questionable, that is doing horrendous things behind your back, gossiping about you, cheating on you, whatever it is that they are doing behind you, behind your back, that is not a good interest of you. Cut them off immediately because it will be a detriment keeping these individuals in your life. You deserve to be around individuals who have your best interests at hand. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to live a prosperous life. You deserve to go to the next level. You deserve to live the life that you desire. Who do these individuals think they are trying to stop you from being the person that you're meant and desire to be? What gives them the right to try to stop you from living the life that you want to live and to try to stop you from being who you're meant to be? What gives these individuals the right to tell you that you're not supposed to be great or that you don't have potential and talent that you share with the world and everybody else? What gives them the right to try to destiny swap with you and try to take you off, off your path? These individuals do not have a right to do that. So as I was saying, do not let them join you and do not join the enemy side. That's the worst thing that you can do right now. You have to have heavy discernment skills and you have to trust the process. If you feel that a situation or a person isn't right for you, go with your first instinct. You're not feeling that way for reason, for any reason, for no reason, I mean. I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied and having problems communicating when I'm trying to communicate to you, but it must be because Mercury retrograde is in station. We're about to go through another Mercury retrograde, but that's a topic for another video. As I was saying, say, be safe, watch your back, and be careful out there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please comment down below and tell me what you thought about it. I'm sorry that these videos keep cutting off. It's just that I have so much storage stored up in my phone and I don't want to delete all of it. But yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Stay, stay blessed, not stress. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.